Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Mike, and today I'm just gonna do a quick video. Um, one of my videos is really quick, but <laughs> I'm gonna do this video on how to apply your your made layouts that you've done according to my last video on how to make um, layouts in Photoshop. Um, I'm gonna show you the four uh, websites that you can upload these themes too so these themes are myspace ning youtube and ustream so i'm gonna head over to uh youtube right now and if you have updated to the 2.0 uh style layout by now I'm, which i'm sure you have this is what it should look like this is how the um 2.0 stuff looks like So what you want to do is select themes and colors and you want to select the theme according to whatever layout you made in Photoshop or whatever if anything you can edit it if you want but I'm gonna pick this red because it looks pretty cool and it's all red and everything and what I'm gonna do is create a new theme and you can name it so I'm gonna call it Valentine's alright so after I do that you want to make sure your your layout or your background image is uh, at least 256k so I don't think mine is so I'm gonna head back into Photoshop real quick and here's the layout I'm gonna apply uh, I'm gonna go save as and save it as a JPEG and press save and I'm gonna make sure it's at uh, a good amount, but not over 256. So 307 is too much, and 241 is just right. So save it, and then go back into uh, YouTube. Go on um, choose file. Here's the file we just made, and uh, it should apply after it finished uploading. Hopefully, if it shows, uh, I guess you gotta let it upload. I guess, and um, you can repeat the background because uh, I mean, depending on your layout and how, if you want it to repeat or not, I'm gonna repeat this one. And it seems that everything else seems cool, so I'm just gonna save it at that. So save changes, and uh, everything should apply. But if it doesn't, just go back in or just refresh. Uh, let me see, background image. Hmm. Doesn't show. Alright, so I'm, I should probably refresh the page. That's what it is. Hopefully, if everything works out right. Go back up to themes, Valentine's Day. I want to go and edit it if I can. Okay, show advanced options. My bad, guys. Choose a file again and make sure I choose it. So for some reason, it's not it's not loading up. So I want to make sure. All right, so let me go back into Photoshop. Uh, change that a little bit. I'm just gonna go in there, save it as a a JPEG again. See what happens. Uh, let's see. Let me drop it down just a little bit, probably to about 172 is too much. 207, I guess. But then as you keep lowering it down, the quality goes down as well. So. Go back into Valentine's Day and show all options. Make sure I select that. And uh, there we go, it seems to work. So you can go save changes. And there's my layout for YouTube. So as you can see, it repeats. So that's a good thing for me. I'm just gonna zoom out so you guys can kind of see the layout. So this is kind of how it looks, cool layout and everything. Alright, so that's YouTube. Now on MySpace, I did a whole 
rundown on how you do that, but if you haven't seen it, um, I'm going to show you how to do that. If you're running MySpace 2.0, I'm going to go into Customize Profile. And right in the CSS area, you want to select that. And you want to make sure you select the um, copy all the CSS code that's in my previous YouTube video on how to create MySpace top banner code. I mean layouts or top banners, I believe. Anyway, copy the link in the video description of that video and copy and paste it here. And right where it says image URL, you want to copy everything in there or paste your image direct image URL in there. So let's say if you're using Photo Bucket, you want to make sure you take the direct link to it so it's the direct link and paste it into the the um, image URL place. And you want to make sure your height is the same, same width and height as your header image so make sure you know that's important so everything else you can just leave and in advanced edit you want to make sure you select your background URL and go over to photo bucket or whatever photo uploading spot you have your photos on get the direct link to it and paste it right in the URL spot and then you you can scroll with the page if you want set the position if you want set it to repeat if you want and once you're done with that your layout should be complete next thing you want you would want to do is change the theme so my theme happened to be a blue one and my layout and stuff is all red so I might want to just go into select theme and choose a theme that's already red or something like that so let's say if you select ninja and everything changes you want to make sure you keep custom styles if it ever asks you that if it's going to say the theme you selected is going to remove your custom CSS or whatever you want to make sure you select keep custom styles so I'm just going to go keep custom styles and uh, I'm just going to go exit because I'm not going to save everything I did I'm just guard the changes alright so that's MySpace right there uh, let me see, I'm gonna head into Ning.